While mourning the loss of his daughter, Perry had a sense that something even more sinister had taken place. An autopsy confirmed Perry's greatest fears. Marion's arms, legs, and organs were all missing, and her eyes had been propped open with wires. It was determined that Marion had been dead for at least 12 hours. On December 20th, fingerprints found on the kidnapper's car were matched to a 19-year-old named William Edward Hickman. A year prior, he had worked with Marion's father and had been arrested due to a complaint filed by none other than Perry himself. On February 13, 1928, after only 36 minutes, the jury reached their verdict finding Hickman guilty of the kidnapping and brutal murder of Marion Parker. The judge swiftly sentenced him to death by hanging. On October 19, 1928, less than a year after Marion's kidnapping and murder, Hickman was hanged at San Quentin Prison. But perhaps in a final display of justice, Hickman hit his head during the fall, suffering for two minutes before dying from asphyxiation.